Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew Shorts. Today I have a story for you in the r slash entitled people subreddit. So let's jump into it. Woman wants child support for an unreturned call. So this was about 13 to 15 years ago and I was working in a convenience store in my town. I was about 22 years old. I can tell you a fair share of stories of this job, like how the owner called me an idiot because I didn't let two hot girls go at it in the store. And I don't mean fight go at it. Anyways, there was this one girl who always came in and she was not nice in any way between her attitude and how she dressed. She was 23 to 25, but acted like she was 15. Now she came in dirty, not smelly dirty, but not showered, in days greasy dirty, not including the fact that drugs have had their toll on her body. I won't go into detail because I already feel bad enough with how I described her already. Anyways, I always had a problem with her because she would always open her mouth about anything just to give me attitude and try and distract me from seeing her friends steal. Never worked because I was an a-hole then and would tell her to shut the f up and leave. Like I said, I was an a-hole. So one day she comes in and doesn't say anything, and when I was talking with the customer and asking how things were with his wife and their newborn. So this girl interjects herself into the conversation and was like, I never knew you were such a nice guy. You know what? Now that I've had a chance to talk to you, I kind of like you. And she hands me a piece of paper with her number, said, Call me. I did not. I was not interested in her in any way. So about three to four months later, I go into work and the owner calls me into the office. They proceed to ask me if I need a lawyer. Being freaked out, I ask what the fuck for. And he tells me that a customer is going around asking everyone where I live because she had to get my address for legal reasons. Then he drops on me what the legal reasons were, that she was going after me for child support. I was like, WTF? Me and my boss are on really good terms. Ask me why the F I would sleep with her, where I told him I did not. I never even called her after she gave me her number. After our conversation, guess who walks in just as I'm about to go around the counter? This girl comes in and yells out, there you effing are, I need your address. And I told her that was not happening. She then proceeds to yell out that she's pregnant and that I need to pay child support. I told her no I don't and no I won't. I have five kids and this is six, so I know how this works, give me the address. Shocked at the fact that she has five kids already, and with how often she is in the store, she must not have a single one living with her. I proceeded to tell her that the kid is not my responsibility. Now people are looking at me like I'm a dick, and I'm getting angrier by the second. This girl proceeds to yell, You never called me back and I ended up going out with my ex and he got me pregnant. And it's your fault, so you're going to pay for this kid. Every single person is now looking at her with a WTF look. I'm doing everything in my power not to smile at the fact that she just shot herself in the foot with a store full of people. I looked at her straight in the eyes and told her that isn't how it works. The only person liable for the kid is the one who got you pregnant and that you didn't have a case and even if it made it to court, it would be thrown out. She got pissed, stormed out, and for the next two to three months when I was there, she made it a point to strut in and say that they were setting up a case and then she just stopped showing up altogether. Needless to say, 13 to 15 years later, I'm still waiting for the summons. Oh boy, what an absolute dumpster fire this girl sounds like. Could you imagine if you could choose the person that gives you child support? I'd be ringing up Elon Musk so fast, but honestly, I hate that people like this exist. Popping out a thousand kids when they shouldn't have even had one. Milking the system for essentially free money and creating a slew of traumatized children. It's disgusting. I hate that the world is so cruel sometimes. That amazing people out there that would be wonderful parents are infertile. And then women like this that see a child as a paycheck get to have six. It makes no sense to me, but that's life I suppose and you unfortunately don't get to choose the cards you're dealt. But anyways, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the Entitled People story. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I'll see you in the next Reddit Shorts. Bye!